my name is Siti and welcome to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video we are looking at how you can leverage the power of Google Drawings to create those amazing powerful vector illustrations. Let's jump right in. And here I am on my Google Drive. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is create a brand new Google Drawings file. So right click anywhere in a folder select more and then you can here add a new Google Drawings. Now there is another way of doing this. You can also use the plus new icon, go to more and select Google Drawings. We are now in our Google Drawing environment. Now the first thing you'll see is that this background has an alpha channel. Now that means when I export this file as a PNG file or SVG file, this alpha channel will remain transparent. However, when you're exporting a JPEG file, it will be turned white. Very important to note is that you can also adjust your canvas. Now you can either do this manually by dragging the corner up and down, or you can go to your file and page setup. Now I would highly recommend doing this every single time you start a new drawing. Now I'm going to select custom, and then under pixels, I am going to select an image that is 500 pixels by 500. Now, the reason I'm doing a square shaped design is because I'm going to do a very basic logo as an example for you and how to use Google Drawings. Now, we're going to start with a background. Now, the background in Google Drawings, I'm going to leave transparent and I'm going to add a big circle to give me something to work with. So let's drag this open and let's hold our shift button to make sure that we have a perfect circle. I'm going to let go, and there we go. Now every shape designed and created in Google Drawings has a fill and border color. So we can change the fill color up here. So I'm going to go for a nice dark blue color and I'm going to get rid of the border, so transparent. And there we go, we have our first shape. Now I have a design in mind that I'd like to use and that design is going to have a big word in the middle and it's just going to say demo. So let's go ahead and click insert and let's insert a word art. Now I'll explain in a minute why I'm using word art instead of using text boxes. So let's type demo, capital D, there we go. And let's drag it off canvas for now. Let's do the same with a text box. Now you can click on this little icon up here to insert a text box, or you go to insert, and then you select text box. So let's go ahead and insert a text box, and let's write that exact same word, demo. And there we go, we can immediately see the difference. We have our demo word art, which acts as a shape. So we have a fill and a border, and then we have our text box, and this is just standard text. So for the sake of creating logos or graphics or anything that you are going to export later on, I would highly recommend using those word art options. So let's delete this text box. Let's give our word art a transparent border and let's make the fill white. Now again, as I mentioned, this is going to be a super basic logo not too much time spent on it. I'm just highlighting and demonstrating some of the possibilities of using Google Drawings. Now this can be resized. And as you can see, I can just drag that, resize it. I can also drag it across. I can do whatever I want with it. And when I double tap this, I can change the actual text displayed. So I can even add an extra capital to balance it out a bit more. At the top, I can choose my font. And if you are working in Google Drawings, make sure that you click on more fonts because that will open up the font browser and you can look for more interesting fonts that you might want to use for your designs. Now I'm going to select Arvo and there we go. Arvo, we're going to resize this so it fits within our circle. So let's just go ahead and make this a bit smaller and a bit higher. There we go. Now, again, as you can see, I'm not spending too much time on the actual design of this logo, but it shows you, you can add shapes and word arts. Now, once you've got more than one shape, go ahead and select these. What you can do next is right click on these different elements and you can group them together. Now, once they're grouped, they move around your canvas as if they were one single object or element. Now, the next step is going to be to manually draw something. So let's go ahead and click on insert. 
and let's search for an image. Now, again, with most G Suite apps, what we can do is we can search the web. So we're going to go ahead and search the web. And what we are looking for for this demo is let's keep it easy. Let's simply look for a, let's look for an image of a tree. And there we go. We have a tree and here we have lots of different trees. Now I'm going to select any of these. I'm going to take this tree and we're going to insert into our Google drawings. And there we go. Go ahead and drag this off canvas. And what you can do now is you can use your zoom tool to zoom out or zoom in on any object that you have in your Google drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the line tool and the type of line I'm going to use is the curve line. It's going to be a very basic outline of a tree. So we're going to go around this tree using our curve. There we go. And it's going to create a nice curve that we can then later on reuse as a shape. And there we go. I now have my first shape. I'm going to do the same again for the tree trunk. I'm going to do a simple outline of my tree trunk using the curve tool. And there we go. I now have two shapes, the trunk and the top of my tree. I can delete the original image. And I'm going to, first of all, get rid of the borders. So let's just hide the border by selecting transparent. Let's give the top a white color and the bottom can be a soft. Let's just leave it as a soft blue. And we're going to group this, which means that it will start behaving as if it's a one single object or element. And we can now resize this to whatever we want it to be. There we go. Let's move that onto our demo. I'm going to resize this a little bit. Use your guidelines to make sure everything is centered and we are done. Now let's say that I'm happy with this logo, which at the moment I'm not, but I am going to export it to save a little bit of time and I'm going to select file and then download as. Now make sure that you are selecting PNG image. Now PNG will keep the alpha channel as a transparent background. If you select JPEG, you will end up with a white background. You can also download as a PDF document or as a SVG file. Now, scalable vector graphics can be opened in more industry standard programs, such as Adobe Illustrator and others. So let's go ahead and select PNG image. And there we go. This has now been downloaded. And when I open it, here you go. You can now see this image with a transparent background. We can now close this image. And the last thing that's left for us to do is to simply give it a title. Now we're going to call this demo logo. And that's it for Google Drawings. Now you can do a lot more than just this in Google Drawings, but I'm hoping that this video has shown you some basic things that you can start playing around with in Google Drawings. And maybe, just maybe, you can start designing your own graphics, icons, and many more things. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. And that's it. Easy, quick, Google Drawings, the most underestimated and underused application of your Google G Suites. Now, I personally love Google Drawings and I would love to hear how you are using Google Drawings at home or in your classrooms. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer and I will see you again in the next one. Thank you for watching.